Hey everybody, Eric Taylor, Trail Hunter USA, coming to you from my garage here in Kentucky. It's about two degrees outside. Actually, it's about 32 today. It's supposed to get down to about seven tonight. We've got an incredible cold snap coming, possible snow and stuff tomorrow night, maybe in the week. It's just, uh, I know the whole country's cold right now. We're talking about the second week in January, 2024. So I've got today, uh, you guys know I'm doing a build for overland build on my rig. And I've got several videos out on that already. If you haven't watched them, uh, subscribe to my channel and go look for those you can see those uh overland rig builds i think is what i call them but to but what i've got today i have i ordered one of these ice co refrigerators and i kind of want to do just like the unboxing and i want to talk about one of the reasons i ordered this over all the other ones that i looked at uh, and so let's just unbox it and then we'll start talking about it. All right, as you can see, it comes really well wrapped. Very nice, thick styrofoam. in my garage today of course hopefully you can hear over my furnace going over here you've seen how cool this look cooler looks now i want to show you something during my unboxing video here about the top that makes this cooler shine above others is this multi-directional top you can lift it from one either side or if you got a tight space in here that you can't lift the cooler up like this, you can reach up under there, wherever it is, lift it up and pull the whole top off. Or you can pull the whole top off when you get ready to load it. Now the cooler comes with the rack in here too. And I'll show you the inside of the cooler here in a minute. And it comes with this box. Let's see what's in here. Put the lid back on. There you have a manual and the drain plug. Comes with the drain. It's got the the AC and the DC cords for it. It's got an extra handle. Okay, this looks like the corner pieces for it. I don't know if these are extra ones or ones you need. And a tool with screws. So we'll dig in that, put this together. But first, a little more about this cooler. Um, this cooler comes in all kinds of sizes. It's like, it starts out the 35 liter. And this is the 45, there's a 60, there's a 90. So you can select what size you need uh, based on what your, what your needs are. 
45 fits mine. Um, it's got all the room I'm going to need at this time. I don't, you know, a week, probably, maybe 10 days to maybe two weeks is max for me. But generally it's gonna be a week or less. So I'll be able to fit all my food in here and I, and I make my own dog food for my girls. So all that'll be able to go in here, the cooler. Another great thing about this is this cooler, why I chose it over others. It's got one of the best compressors on the market, the C-COP, S-E-C-O-P compressor. And it comes with a five year warranty. So there's not many manufacturers of freezer coolers out there that will give you a five year warranty. I think uh, there's maybe a couple that I know of, but you're talking about you're gonna pay uh, close to $1,000 for those. Another thing I liked about this cooler was it's got a USB, two USB ports on this side where this is, will be the side facing out, so uh, toward the back of the Bronco, so you can plug some USB outlets in there. It's got the AC adapter on this side and the DC plug on this side. And it also has the DC on this side. So either side that you want to plug in this cooler to to a DC adapter then you can plug it on either side so that's another great thing about this cooler and my I will probably be plugging mine in on this side the cooler has another good thing the cooler has two handles one on each side for lifting I know some coolers don't have handles at all. So another great thing about this ice cold cooler, uh, the cooler weighs about uh, 50 pounds and the dimensions for this uh, BL45 Pro is eight is uh, 28 inches this way, lengthwise uh, 16 inches this uh, way in the front and then the height is about 18 inches. The cooler has about, uh, I think it's zero to 50 degree Fahrenheit cooling range. And the specs on it uh, say that it holds 68 cans. So I'm assuming that's 12 ounce cans. So it's a rather large cooler. Opening it up and looking inside. Okay, looking inside the unit, as you can tell, it's got a light on it, LED light. Of course, I talked about the basket and the um, thermostat, temperature gauge, whatever you want to call it over here is in the center of the cooler, which is good. And then I've never seen a drain plug in one of these type of coolers before, but there's one at the bottom. You can wash this out uh, and then uh, rinse it out if you want to. As you can see, there's a lot of room in here. It's a one, a one compartment fridge freezer. And that is all I needed. I didn't need a freezer and a, fr a refrigerator. I'll just be using it as a refrigerator, so. That's that for the inside. Okay, I've got the cooler plugged up to my Jackery and I'm going to show you guys how easy this is to operate, which is another selling point for me. I've had coolers in the past. I don't know why they make them so, some of them so complicated, but this one simply has a power button. You hold the power button on, it comes on, tells you what the temperature is. You can adjust that here, up or down, whatever you want, set it. It should get into that range. It's got a maximum and an eco mode. You can switch back and forth on. Um, and then it's got a, a battery monitor and you can set the modes for high, medium, or low on that one. And um, if you don't know what that means, 
it basically it prevents the depletion of your battery you can set the mode uh, to help uh, not only the cooler from shutting off but your battery from damaging your battery and the instruction manual will tell you all about that I've looked through this instruction manual and the instruction manual is very detailed on everything so the manual is really good and it comes with an extra drain plug in case you lose the other one it comes with an extra handle and the tools you need to put the handle on it comes with of course the ac power cord and the dc power cord and what else oh it comes with the extra what you call the edge protectors the edge protectors here comes with the extra of those in case those break you got four extra ones of those so it's a pretty cool cooler i'm going to um, of course do a full review after i use it for a while and test it and i will get back with you all on a full review of it but the unboxing of it there's a lot of of uh, extra things added to it that uh, I didn't know was coming with it, all the extra parts, but when I did the research again on this cooler, it fits best for me. I call it a cooler, some people call it a freezer. Um, but this one uh, fits all my needs. Now some of them have separate compartments for freezing and cooling, I didn't need that. Uh, if I have frozen food, I want it thawed out by the time I eat it anyway, so I'll throw it in here and set this at 34 to stay as long as I want. You know, now if I get to a point at some point in my life where I do long trip overlanding, say be gone for two, three weeks or something, or longer, I may switch to a different cooler. Uh, but this fits my purpose right now of being a week or less generally when I'm going to be gone out. Okay, the next step for me is I got the slider for the VL45 Pro series and Pro S series and I'm going to install this in my truck, my Bronco. Alright everybody, we're back. We're at the installation part of this video where I'm going to install the slide mount in the back for my VL45 Pro S. Now, I debated not to get a slide mount because you will lose access to this little compartment if you got a bronco you know there's a little compartment back here uh, i can't open it now because i have a power tank here but i could take that power tank very easy out out very easily and lift up the only thing in here is your jack which i'm not going to be using that I, uh, something coming along here you'll see in the future is a jack that i'm going to have and I've got an impact wrench, so I don't need any of that stuff. And the little small compartment here, I didn't really utilize anyway. Uh, it got wet in there sometimes, so you couldn't really store anything too much without worrying about it getting wet. So I'm not worried about it. Now, the other thing here with the slide mount, <clears throat> if you put it in here and you, uh, uh, the wrong way. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a cold too or something. Um, this operates, by the way, you set your cooler in here, you lift up, and you pull it, pull it out, pull the cooler out to that point, <clears throat> and then come on out with it. <clears throat> the problem with the Bronco is it's got a lip here, and this is a two-stage pull and it's going to hit here and that's as far as you'll be able to pull out the refrigerator so my solution <clears throat> and this would just attach this is a real easy installation that just attaches to this with some self-tapping screws i cut out me a whole piece of plywood i found around the house here I'm going to attach the plywood to uh, the floor and then attach this 
slide mount to that and then allow me to get past that lip. Now it's going to put my cooler real close up here for mine, but uh, I can still, it'll still work or I can pull it all the way out anyway. I'm going to have it out here. And the reason I chose this spot, I've got my power tank here and, and I thought about getting rid of this for my overland build <clears throat> and just using a compressor. But I love this thing. Uh, it is so much faster to air up the tires that I do not want to get rid of it. I'm going to, I'll carry a uh, backup compressor of some sort. I've got another compressor that I was using before I use this power tank, but it's kind of big. I don't know if I'm, I'm, anyway, it's off subject. But anyway, I decided to go with this location because I've got the power tank here. I've got my impact wrench and I'm going to have some other tools stacked on this side of the refrigerator. So that space was not going to be, uh, used anyway and i didn't want to put it on this side over here because my table when i pull my table down the cooler will be right in the way so and i can push the door out farther i'm uh but i can't get it out that far to where my cooler i'm standing between my cooler and the trays pulled out so here i can pull this out still have access to my my tray if I want to use this table and I don't know how much I'll use the table but that'll leave me with all this storage room here left and you see the limited space on a Bronco and I'm trying to find all the space I can up front as I talked in an earlier video and I'll be doing probably another video on it about maybe taking my seats out so I'm going to get this installed and let you guys look at it <clears throat> Okay, I got the uh, I got the slide mount mounted in the Bronco now. Like I said before, I cut this board out and um, attached that to the floor of the Bronco, and then attached the slide mount to the. board and now you just pull it straight out I had to do a little adjustment here on my power tank uh, if the uh, mount <clears throat> on it came out here and you would have to take the tank off into the cooler so I couldn't do that so I removed uh, the mount uh, the molly mount for the power tank I've got some straps on here that oh, will hold it in just fine. Now I'm going to put the VL45 Pro S ice cold cooler freezer on here for you. Okay, I've got the ice cold mounted in here. It's got four straps and there's holes here to run those through just to hold that down and run it through this uh, loop there and you can tie it off or whatever just to get the rest of the strand out of the way i may cut it off i don't know but it's in there now won't move lift this up pull it out all right view from this side as you can see just pull this lever up and pull the cooler out at a hit one latch there. If you want it out farther, pull it up again and pull it all the way out. And then since my table was on this side, I'll be able to access the cooler from this side and have my table over here. I think that's gonna work. <clears throat> like I said, the door will open more than that. It's just hitting the, my support um, column there for my <clears throat> garage loft so I'll have room here to get things out set it on here or have me another table out here so I think this is going to work good I love the ice co I love the idea of being able to flip this around now if I come in and I come in on this side I decide to just say it's pouring down rain my awning hits ends there i can come on this side <clears throat> and open it up and still be under my awning so i love it leave me 
Okay, everybody, that ends this video of my uh, initial review of the Iceco VL45 Pro S freezer cooler. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe to the channel, please. And, you know, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, well, how I need to proceed further in getting as much storage as I can back here. Again, this cooler's going to last me. I, I got this size. Uh, this will be a good week to put all me and my wife's food food in here and the dog's food and the drinks and everything we'll need for a week and that's probably uh, my uh, the extent of my overlanding trips up until I just retire from my job and can do this more often and I may go with a bigger cooler I don't know this one may work out fine um, but this guy's got a five-year warranty on it and so five years from now, if I get retired, which is my goal, uh, five years from now, or maybe less. So anyway, I've rambled on enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys on the trails.